So what are you doing? It is, let's see, 8.15. And uh, it's turning out to be a really pretty morning. It's beautiful outside. So I thought I'd take you out with me on a little ride. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Pepe is feeling lively this morning. Lively. Feeling very, very tightened up and everything locked down and just feels really good. I can feel, uh, I can totally feel how the, uh, the difference to where the, the battery was this way and I turned it this way. I can totally feel the difference in that. I can also feel and hear, or not hear, the difference in uh, the wax chain, which is nice. And I, it just, I don't know, I, I, I don't know what it is, but it feels tighter. It feels like it's really, really responsive, really just ready to roll. I mean, like, really good, like better than brand new. Just really, really uh, responsive. Anyway. Feels nice, really nice. I put a couple of new Huntsmans on the front. The other ones were a little bit, a little bit bald. But the, uh, the right one was balder than the left one. So I figured I had an alignment issue because that's usually what happens. Just probably just because of all the bumps and bruises I take on this thing, you know. I think uh, um, I looked at receipts and stuff um, the other day when when I was uh, looking for my 26s, the the rear tires, and those have come down. They used to be a hundred and twenty dollars each. Now they're uh, fifty something. <laughs> for the for the wire bead, which is obviously not what everybody wants. Everybody wants to put it in a pot in your pocket or something like that because the wire bead makes it real stiff in a circle, you know. Um, but they want to fold it up and everything like that. Well, the the folded up version isn't as sturdy. It's uh, 120 TPI, and the ones that I have are 30 TPI, which is much more solid, much more uh, thorn resistant or puncture resistant than any of the other ones are. And I guess it's uh, the ones that I like just aren't as uh, popular. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. You're good. Thank you. So I'm very happy about that. Haven't haven't bought them yet, but I am very happy about that. Anyway, I don't know, maybe maybe they're gripping better. 
<laughs> than the, the bald ones. I, I guess they probably are, right? Just feels so, so much more responsive. It's amazing. Oh, <laughs> you got to hear this one. So, the past, whatever, the past little while since I, I posted the last uh, video, I've been out a few times and um, taken probably six videos. Probably made about six. <laughs> And uh, I went to upload my first one yesterday, yes, no, day before yesterday, and uh, there was no sound on it. And I'm like, wait a second, what's wrong? I had the, I had the wireless mic on. I, I, that's a ritual. I always do. Um, and then I thought about it, and I was using my old camera because of whatever reason. I forget what the reason was. In either case, oh, I was going to swap them out and just have, have one camera and then go to the other camera when, when I needed to out on the road. And then I decided not to do that. Oh, thank you. Then I decided not to do that. So, oh, thank you. Um, because of whatever. I was going to put a, a... And I did. I started putting a battery in my pocket. So I just swap out the battery and I can do another one another vlog when I on my way home or whatever um, but it, it doesn't matter anyway the uh, I was using the other camera the old camera with all the you know the wireless setup and everything it's supposed to work just fine it used to work just fine um, but I don't know all of a sudden it didn't and uh, I looked then I looked uh, I'm like okay I'll just you know it's just that one well no it wasn't just that one it was all of them <laughs> none of them had any any sound whatsoever and you know what maybe you would have liked that but I don't so I deleted every one of them <laughs> I listened to them went through and made sure the whole thing was silent and uh, deleted them so we're starting over people one of these days I'll get it down one of these days in either case I've done lots and lots of uh, little uh, maintenance stuff on this bad boy that's probably the biggest reason that I'm I'm so happy today with all the with all the maintenance done and over with and everything all tightened up this thing just responds so well it's it's truly amazing I'm pretty sure you've heard all the main main stuff, you know, the 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 whole uh, differential saga. <laughs> I got uh, that was all so just unnecessary, quite frankly, but it happened anyway. So whatever, um, but. The good thing is I have a couple of extra um, lock collars, so that's good. And then uh, you you heard about the the chain waxing. I did that. I still haven't gotten the uh, 11 speed chains that I'm going to use for. Uh, I think. Uh, two of my chains I'll, I'll use that for and then the rear chain that I always mess with is, is still uh, one speed single speed it's a little wider a little thicker I think so that's what I use for that and it works you know it works on the cog and then uh, 11 speed for the rest the front one that that I pedal with that's on the front crank and then uh, and the rear 
of that chain is hooked up to the uh, motor and then uh, the other one that I'll wax is the one that's hooked on the motor on the front end underneath my seat and then to the uh, the cassette that's behind me that's kind of uh, three quarters back on the on the quad I'll wax that too so it's and I think it'll make a difference I think it'll be real nice coming up on your right bud have a good one man So I got that, you know, the waxiness going. Well, half of it, because I got... And then I'll do... Uh, when I get the 11-speed in, I'll get the rest of them, and it should be even quieter than it is right now. <laughs> if you can believe that. I swear I can feel that the uh, front tires are new. It's just, I don't know. I feel like I can feel a difference. Can't wait to get the, the rear ones done. I think I go through, I haven't really scientifically looked at it, so I might be off, but I think I go through three sets of 20s before for every set of 26s that I go through, I think. And I might, because I think this will be my uh, fourth set of 20s on the you know on the front um, and I could my my 26s the ones on the backer are uh, low but they're not bald I could probably they would be bald by the time I went through um, these tires this set of fronts But uh, I'm planning on getting, especially because they're so cheap, um, I'm planning on getting a set uh, in the next, I don't know, a few days. So I'll put those on the back and we'll be all new. All new shoes for Pepe. <laughs> and maybe it'll feel even better than it does now. We can always hope, right? <laughs> It's just awesome. I can, I, you know, I can just, I can hit the, the throttle and not worry about really easing into it or not. I automatically do, but, but it's nice. It, it's nice. I can really, I can go now. What I need to remember to get is a uh, a couple of um, sprockets 
for the motor from CYC. I'll, I'll have to write that lady an email and have her send me a couple of them. Because that's one thing that goes, and I'm sure I'm sure it's kind of a something that just does because of the power. Um, but it rounds off the teeth, and then all of a sudden, it just doesn't go anymore. <laughs> of course, I could, you know, thin that off by checking it <laughs> to see when it gets really low, really rounded off, and I'm, I can actually, you know, replace it then instead of waiting till it actually goes completely, so I have to wait for it. Good morning. Good morning, bud. Anyway, today's a good day, guys. Overall, you know, today's a good day. I like it when I have those. <laughs> good days are good. <laughs> I have been uh, trying to get uh, a ride or two in with Stephen in the past few days. Um but I haven't been able to because it's been pouring rain. Which I guess is good for the grass, but not, not real good for uh, riding recumbents. So, gotta wait. Today it's supposed to rain again. Well, it's summer, so it rains every day, but um, we'll see how bad it, it looks when he gets up. See if we can get an afternoon ride in.
let's see if I can get through this without knocking you out. I think so. They've got one little branch that's right in the spot where the camera lands. If I go perfect through there and don't hit anything, so I kind of got to go to the right to hit something. <laughs> to get out of the way. Man. All right, let's go over to Sportsman's Park, check things out there. And it looks like nothing is going on at Sports and Spark. Alrighty then. What day is today? On oh, Thursday. Not even a little bit. All right, you guys, this is where I'm going to drop you off. I hope, hope you had a good time riding around with me. Maybe I'll see you later, and, and we'll have a little ride later. And I hope you're having a nice morning or night or afternoon or whatever it is, wherever you're from. And I'll see you next time.